Hello everyone. Welcome to Civil Engineering and Stuff. And in today's video, we are going to discuss about grade separated intersection. So in the uh, previous lecture series, we have discussed about intersection. And we have discussed how an uncontrolled, how an uncontrolled intersection creates lots of conflict points. Conflict points means the accidental hotspot that can be created in an uncontrolled intersection. And to mitigate these conflict points, to reduce these conflict points, the most economical way is to convert the intersection into one way. Right? To convert the intersection into one way. This is the most economical, but it also reduces the traffic capacity. It also reduces, uh, reduces the traffic capacity. Hence, it is not desirable in all the scenario. It's not a not a uh, provision that can be implemented in all the situations. So to ensure that the traffic capacity is also like the road capacity is also at its maximum as well as the safety of the passengers is also taken care of. So what we do is we install certain traffic management devices. These devices can be by installation of traffic signs, by road marking by construction of rotary, by installing traffic uh, signals and likewise. So in line of that, another strategy to ensure smooth movement of traffic is by constructing grade separated intersection. So this is what we are going to discuss in this video. So let's start with the basic discussion about the grade separated intersection. So grade separated intersection uh, are the layout that permit cross maneuvering at different levels. So when we have intersection at different grades, so this is let's say is at higher elevation and then below below it is going another road at lower elevation. So when this happens, that is called as the grade separated intersection. This road is at lower elevation and this road is going at higher elevation. So this, when this happens, this is called as the grade separated intersection. So when do we construct or go for the grade separated intersection. So in urban street, the installation of grade separated intersection is that uh, when the traffic volume in the next five years is expected to exceed the capacity of the intersection. So if we have if we have a, a at grade intersection, if we have an at grade intersection and we observe through the traffic study that the traffic volume in this at grade intersection in next five years will surpass what the capacity of the inter intersection is, then we go for grade separated intersection. During the traffic study, we observe that the traffic volume in next 20 years will exceed the traffic capacity of at grade intersection, then also we go for the grade separated intersection, right? So the five years and 20 years planning has to be taken, future planning has to be taken into consideration to look for uh, the probability of installation of grade separated intersection in an urban area or in an urban street. In rural areas or in rural, rural highway, if average daily traffic on the cross road within the next five years exceed 5000 PCU, then we go for grade separated intersection. And in next 20 years, this traffic volume is again expected to exceed in a much higher way, then we go for the gate separated intersection. So these are just uh, general provisions that is taken into consideration as to when, is, when should we go for gate separated intersection. Now what are the type of gate separated intersection? So basically there are two different type of gate separated intersection. The one is called as the gate separated intersection without interchange and the other is called as gate separated intersection with interchange. So what does this interchange mean? So Interchange means interchange is a system where a facility is provided for the movement of traffic between two or more roadway at different levels in the grade separated junction. What does this mean? Just suppose that we have a road at higher elevation. This is the road at higher elevation and below it there is another road going. This is the road in black. This road is at lower elevation. Right, which is going below the road at higher elevation. So you see 
they rode at higher elevation the traffic can go from this side to this side likewise from left to right the traffic in uh, road at lower elevation can go like this but there is no no facility available for the traffic at higher elevation to move at the lower elevation and vice versa the traffic at lower elevation cannot go at the traffic uh, at the road at higher elevation so a facility is designed in such a way or a road is construct constructed that allow this movement of vehicles across the uh, across the road that are present at different elevation all right so we create a facility that co connects these two different road at that are present at different elevation so by constructing this facility the traffic that is moving at higher elevation the traffic that is moving at higher elevation can use this facility and can now move at the road or intersection present at lower elevation so this facility this facility is what we call as the interchange this facility is what we call as the interchange so interchange is a system where a facility is provided for the movement of traffic between two or more roadway at different levels different level means that are present at different elevation points right one is at higher elevation one is at low elevation and through this interchange facility the traffic move in between the different elevation road right so if the the facility is available uh, then it is called as gate separated intersection with interchange if not gate separated intersection without interchange so let us discuss about these interchange because this is what the basic difference uh, like the bifurcate of uh, categorize the uh, these gate separated intersection in two category so let us discuss the different type of interchange that can be provided that ensures the movement of traffic at different elevated roads so if you talk about the type of interchange it can be classified into three broad categories the first is three leg interchange second is four leg interchange and fifth is multi leg interchange in a three leg interchange we have three legs we are called as a t interchange or y interchange in a four leg we have four interchange so we have diamond interchange clover leaf dash interchange half clover leaf and rotary interchange in multi leg we have rotary interchange so we are going to discuss only about the main type of interchange okay so the first one is the three leg interchange in three leg interchange uh, we have two categories uh, the first is called as t interchange and the second is called as y interchange so in a t interchange as you can see we have t shape right we have t shape so when the inter when the interchange meet at right angle when the interchange meet at right angle but do not cross it then it is called as the t interchange and when this angle is acute or obtuse it is called as y interchange this is an example of uh, y interchange you can see this part these parts are what uh, are connecting the road at different elevation points and you can see the angles are more or less acute so in case we have a traffic that is going in this direction right this is uh, this is the road at higher elevation right and this is the road that is going below it at lower elevation so we have a traffic that is moving at higher elevated road but now wants to meet or move in a traffic at a lower elevation point so what they can do is they can just use this interchange facility and can carry on with the journey likewise a traffic moving at lower elevation point can use the interchange facility and can move this is a practical example you can see uh, these are uh, the practical example of the interchange where you can see this is the road at higher elevation this is the road that is going below it at lower elevation right and these are the interchange facilities that are, that connect the higher elevation road to lower elevation road right the the traffic moving at higher elevation like this can move at lower elevation by just following this interchange right same is for uh, this figure then we have uh, four leg interchange and in four leg interchange the first one is called as the diamond interchange 
Now, uh, diamond interchange is again one of the co commonly used four leg interchange. It has four leg, one, two, three, four. So that's why four leg interchange. And basically, uh, this uh, diamond interchange involves uh, the major and minor crossing. So this is an example of uh, diamond interchange. This is, let's say, a road that is going at higher elevation. And you can see this is the road that is going at lower elevation. So here what happens is that uh, the cross maneuvering uh, movement a can be done. So if we have a vehicle that is uh, like going at a road at lower elevation, right? This is the movement at lower elevation. And this is the movement at uh, like, let's say at higher elevation, right? This is the movement at higher elevation. So traffic can move from lower elevation to higher elevation. And depending upon the ease at which you want to ensure the movement of the traffic, you can allow the cross maneuvering. What does this mean is that either you can have this design as, as one uh, as one way only. Let's say the initial movement in the uh, in this section of the road is like this, right? So either you can allow the movement of traffic from lower elevation and in this direction only, or you can allow cross maneuvering. So in, in cross maneuvering, what you can do is you can uh, like the traffic is going in this direction. It can use the interchange and follow this direction. They can uh, here a uh, here cross maneuvering can be allowed and the traffic can be allowed to move in different directions, right? So this cross maneuvering can be allowed depending upon the amount of traffic volume that you, you can, uh, you, are, you want to target, okay? So of course there is uh, like some conflict points that can be created uh, in the diamond interchange. So to ensure uh, that this conflict point, like uh, no accident happens in this point. So what we do is we install the traffic traffic lights here you can see some traffic lights are being installed in the uh, diamond interchange so as to avoid the the conflicts to happen right we construct traffic lights we have road markings we have uh, traffic signals installed so as to ensure easy easy movement along the road section this diamond interchange clear this is your diamond interchange okay the movement of traffic can be as per your requirement right so this is your diamond interchange. Then we have half clover leaf interchange, right? So in half clover leaf, so we know like the clover leaf looks something like this, right? Clover leaf looks something like this. So when we have, when we are half of the clover leaf, right? This you can see, this is the half of the clover leaf, right? When we have two loop sections, Right, when we have two loop sections and like these are the interchange facilities that are provided, that's why four leg interchange. And along with that, we provide half of the loop that we represent as a clover leaf. So when this happens, this is called as the this is called as the half clover leaf, half clover leaf interchange. Right. So in this a major road uh, again can cross a minor road and uh, these clover leaves again like uh, provides ease of access of movement of traffic. So again, let's say this is the road at higher elevation. This is the road at higher elevation. This is the uh, like this bottom is the road at lower elevation. The traffic is moving like this in the lower elevated road. So again, the uh, it provides the movement of traffic along the different elevation points. Traffic can go from here to here and can move like this right the traffic can uh, go from here to here and can move like this likewise the traffic can go from this side use this interchange and can move like uh, this and similarly for this part of the interchange okay similarly for this part of the interchange okay depending upon the movement of the traffic it can be done, right? All right. So when this happens, when we use uh, when we use two loop sections along with the uh, four interchange, then it is called as the half clover leaf. This is an example of half clover leaf section. You can see we have two clover leaf type section, or technically called as loop sections, along with the four leg interchange. Then the extended part is called as the full clover leaf. When we have 
four loop sections then it is called as along with the four interchange then it is called as the full clover leaf interchange right it has four interchange now having these these four, uh, these four loop sections right having these four loop sections or in this case clover leaf uh, generally because they resemble the clover leaf so these loop sections are called as clover leaf so having these there is certain benefit to it like thorough movement of traffic is allowed right you have uh, so many uh, uh, facilities provided because of this that you like the movement of traffic along these section of the gate separated interchange becomes very easy left turning traffic have a direct path and it's very simple to use but having these benefits there is certain limitation for this full clover leaf interchange the first one is that it requires a huge area compared to the your the other interchange or the other four leg interchange that we have discussed this now and uh, along with the large area requirement the carriage area requirement is also large the weaving maneuver is limited to 1200 psu per hour and u turns are long and uh, it may be confusing sometimes right if no proper uh, traffic signs are installed no proper marking is uh, or there some uh, marking is left or like get diminished it becomes sometimes confusing right so this is your full clover leaf interchange the example is shown here right this is your full clover leaf interchange okay i'll show you one practical example so for that what you can do is you can go to your google map you can type uh, connaught place delhi okay you can type connaught place delhi and you can see this full clover leaf interchange all right this is your full clover leaf interchange and you, you can see like the the four clover leaves that are here right and you can see here you can see here this is the this is the road uh, going in in the higher elevation this is uh, we have the road uh, going at lower elevation and how these are being connected using uh, full clover leaf intersection and you can see how much area it is occupying all right likewise if you roam around uh, you can also find your other uh, type of interchange you can find your wide uh, shapes interchange that connect at the, uh, that are there so just roam around uh, this connaught place delhi uh, map and you will find uh, most of the interchange facilities being being constructed all around it these are the images taken from uh, here only so you can just for your own reference you can just uh, go through it another figure that shows the clover leaf you can see the extent of area that is required for the construction of clover leaf that is why uh, this uh, big limitation of the clover leaf though it provided it provides with the ease of movement of traffic then and uh, we have uh, the fourth category called as the rotary interchange and it is a four leg interchange and it, the benefit of this type of interchange is that it occupies less area and is suitable for uh, most of the cities it provides easy u turns but again uh, have uh, certain limitations that it, it the first is that it, it serves a limited capacity and like turning traffic and straight through traffic might might be uh, confusing sometimes and these are not uh, generally used but are now being used uh, like earlier they were not uh, that much in use but now their use has started to gain the attention of the uh, designers right these are some of the examples of the uh, great separated rotaries we have discussed about uh, at grade intersections and there we have discussed about the rotary intersection so the detail about the rotary inter at grade rotary intersection you can uh, uh, like refer that video and uh, learn about that all right so uh, when we have two different elevated road uh, along the rotary intersection then it's called as grade separated rotary all right so uh, these are the what we have discussed in this video are major uh, form of uh, interchanges that are there right along with that there are other uh, variety of uh, interchange that are available we have one quadrant right we have uh, we have turbine uh, type we have uh, stack type we have diamond type and uh, like uh, other variety of uh, interchange facilities are available okay but here what we have discussed in this video are the most common and frequently used uh, interchange all right so i hope uh, the video lecture was uh, very clear uh, to you it, uh, and you found the video useful to you and if you if so uh, do consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video 
commenting your views uh, about this video in the comment section and share the video with your friends it boosts our morale and like it encourages us to make more quality videos okay so that's all for this video uh, thank you for watching have a nice day